Gabe, just curious what this season has been like for you personally. Just, you know, you're, you haven't been in the lineup as much as you had in the past. And then, you know, you get your opportunities kind of sporadically. And then last night, you know, you, you get you, you let one loose there. Just what, what's it been like for you? Um, honestly, it's, you know, you got to have thick skin. And, um, you know, whenever you get your opportunity, it's it, you create your own destiny from there. Um, that's really the only way to to handle it. You get your opportunity and and you run with it. So um, with the amount of playing time, uh, it, it is what it is. Um, you know, I accept that and it helps me out because, you know, I understand that I have to focus more on my game, uh, see where there are holes in my game and, and fix it. And then when I do get my opportunity, um, go out there playing, play clean, solid baseball, knowing that I prepared well and, and just go from there and staying consistent. That's, that's the biggest thing that we talk about. All right, we're going to go to Luis Zabala of CBS4. Luis, go ahead. Gabe, how tough is that to be, you know, to not know you're going to, when you're going to be in the lineup? I know it, you say it and you say you got to roll with it, but but um, it puts an extra pressure, a little more pressure on you to, to try to be perfect. When you accept the fact that, hey, just do what, what you do, how tough is that? Like, how do you, how do you, how do you get to that point? And when you, how do you feel comfortable doing that? Well, it's only tough if you make it tough on yourself. Um, you try to do too much. Um, you know, when I first started off and, you know, I, I didn't handle it well. Uh, we're talking freshman year when I was young. And as you grow and you mature, um, you know, it's it's the reality of it. Uh, you you got to go through your battles. You got to go through your ups and downs and just staying consistent, you know, mentally and physically. Um, you know, that challenge is, is something that, you know, I, I thrive on. I don't, I don't think there's any pressure at all. Um, you, you know, and when I do get my opportunity, I, I know what I need to do. I know how I need to prepare before going into games. Um, regardless if I'm playing or not, everything's got to stay the same. So um, it's, I just treat it like any other game. Um, you know, go out there, do your thing, uh, win a ball game, and, and that's a uh, Anything else for Gabe? We're going to go back to Christopher Stock of Inside the U. Chris, go ahead. And not not just yourself getting going last night. A lot of guys got hits, multiple hits, home run. Just how good was that for the lineup? And what did you kind of notice uh, yesterday? Um, yeah, you know, we broke it open. Uh, it's exactly the way that we should respond. Um, you know, coming off a tough weekend like that, and the way we responded was there, there couldn't be a better way for that. I think we, you know, 14 runs and 17 or 18 hits or, you know, however many hits we got. I think that's a statement. Um, I think that speaks of our team's character, um, you know, that we're resilient and we're not lingering from this weekend. We're, we went right back into it. Um, it's great to see some guys blow up. Uh, I know it's with the big grand slam. Um, Raymond Gill getting a couple knocks in there. Villar with another home run. Uh, just seemed like one through nine last night was was clicking on all phases of the game, and you know that, that's what we need. And yeah, that's one game, but you know just, let's try to stay consistent like that pretty much all year um, with everybody clicking on all cylinders. So, and just to follow, I was curious how, how you're feeling at the plate, you know, other than the home run or whatever, but just how, how you've been feeling lately these last few games, your at bats there. I feel fine. I I, I still need a ton of work on a lot of different phases of hitting. Um, but last night was, you know, it was a good day. And, uh, but that's over with. And, uh, you know, I got to be ready. Um, you know, whenever I get back out there, I still got to prepare hard. Um, you know, there, there's just so many things to work on that, you know, it's, it's just for me, it's just never being satisfied. Um, it's nice to see where I, some things that I did good and I need to still need to work on a lot of things. So. Uh, but last night was, you know, a good performance and just need to build off of that.